Welcome back to TXP3, all you beautiful COD lovers out there. We got another match in our round robin as we are coming to a quick close very soon. The bracket play is soon along the line. And I'm very excited to have this next one up because we got some fun on stage cooking for you all to enjoy. My name is Seymour once again, joined by Zeri Zeri Zuzu. How you doing? Doing good. Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. <laughs> um, it's been a fun day so far. Um, not a lot of close matches on stream. We did just recently see one, so that was kind of nice. Uh, it's still a 2-0, but a little bit tighter. Um, we're set for an interesting one here. Uh, fun fact, it is an admin team. Uh, yeah. Part of our admin staff here, plus uh, St. Clair Academy player, um, getting set to face off against 905 Esports in a battle of uh, win or go home. Uh, win, you move on to the, loser, uh, the loser's bracket in that third spot in the group. Lose, oh, yeah. you go home. And, well, I do got to say, I was dropped from this team this morning. Very disappointed to hear that news. Uh, so, Jamie crushed my hopes and dreams of uh, loading up on the main stage. So, uh, not sure who's going to take this one, but got to think uh, Toons in the squad is going to have a chance. I mean, it's better in here anyways. Yeah. Less yeah. pressure. Yeah. A little, more fun. Yeah, exactly. I don't got to play nervous, you know, just... Nice and loose in the booth, so. Yeah, well, I think it's going to be really fun, like we said. I mean, we've been cooking this one up for you guys to enjoy. Uh, both of these two teams, throughout their groups, it hasn't been, you know, a shining run for each of them. They've both had similar losses to everybody else in their group, so this one matching up. It should be fun to see how they size up against one another. 905 Esports on the left, Funky Bunch on the right, Brother Jammer. It's not actually Brother Jammer. That's, a, that's somebody just using his profile, but nonetheless, it's the Avid team. It's it's going to be fun. They're into the hill. We got sub base. Yep. So Brother Jammer is going to be Toons uh, playing on that account. So just keep that in mind as we move forward. And sub base map one. We'll see a very AR heavy map. Obviously, not often, almost never, you see a rival nine on this map. And well, a good start for 905. But just like that, Funky Bunch able to win a couple gunfights and retain control of P1. Yeah, this is a good time for Funky Bunch now. A couple of them said that they're going to get loud on stream today if they uh, walk away with a win the way that they've been losing so far. So, so far, so good on the sub base. They're looking over towards these P2 spawns as well. Player number seven, that's Brother Jammer in the back. Nice shots there at range. That should secure the spawns in for P2 for them as well. Yeah, you can see 905 spawning on the opposite sides. So they got a lot of ground to cover. You're going to need some big plays here from Kirishima in the corner. Good for one, hoping to find a little bit more, but can't get the second one. It's a big trade there from Funky Bunch now to get in the hill. Yeah, that was a good opportunity for Charisma to to force that spawn out for the side of Funky Bunch. Only able to get one, though, so still it's going to be Funky Bunch spawning in the back. They do have a little bit of control around the point, but Aaron Rice with a great two-piece trying to make it a third. He does, too. Okay. So nice shots out of him and in control right now, 905 of P2. Yeah, Jammer trying to work his way out of their spawn. Still stuck at the back. Charisma with some nice shots. Can he find three? Andro shuts that spree down. 19 seconds left on this P2 hard point. You can see that the spawn's actually flipped out. So Funky Bunch is going to be blessed by this one. They're going to have that early setup over towards P3. A hard point that's not very easy to break. Yeah, absolutely. Um, P3, I mean, if you get set up in mid, you get two people posted up, you play those spawners coming off low maze, you see where number three just spawned, that's exactly where you want to play. Number seven trying to do exactly that. However, 905 able to get pressure on the bunker side, Charisma trying to work the right side, oh. almost trying to get that uh, opening kill, would have opened up the uh, hard point completely. They do have some pressure in time though, so it's just going to be a 1v1 left on point, and he's not going to win it. Aaron Rice with a good start for him. Yeah, Aaron Rice, five in a row. Can he find that sixth one? It doesn't look like it. The spree shut down just before that cruise missile is acquired for 905 Esports, and spawns haven't yet flipped, so you can see that 905 just trying to keep Funky Punch out of this time, and so far, so good. I mean, the fact that Funky Punch, the first ones into the seal, haven't gotten very much time here off of this P3. Aaron Rice now has been just a shining light for this team gonna slide in for eight and four see if you can sneak away with a couple seconds here and it looks like aaron rice will be able to do so wow. and as aaron rice actually wins that battle over towards old pieces on rotation in trouble airsus gonna shut that one down but tandro for funky bunch should secure those spawns wow that was should. A, that yeah that was a very interesting sequence as tandro thought you did but you see 905 spawns so so deep in the back they do just enough Pieces left alone originally, uh, basically had a one on three, couldn't win it, and, but I guess it was enough for 905, and in comes the streak. Uh, I believe that's gonna be Aaron Rice. 
uh, to try and break this point. Oh, actually, sorry, it is, it's going to be Toons. He did get that streak uh, on the last point. Apologies for missing that one. He's looking for that 11th kill already. Not going to happen. It's still going to be 905 with the lead and trying to improve on it. Yeah. Watch a season. Looking for an angle, and the player is now pressuring the point, but it's a quick three down for 905 Esports. There's a chance for Funky Punch to hop into that hard point, grab that scrap time, but a lot of them putting a focus over towards the rotation on P5. Player number six trying to win some battles in towards the back of Silos. He's not going to be ready for 905 tucked away. Asus able to secure that kill. And 905 now for the setup over towards P5. This is their chance to just hold this lead with how far Funky Bunch are spawning out. Yeah, and you can see 905 a little bit more practiced here on this point. You see their setup very dominant towards the middle of the map. And that player, number one, Top Snow, going to be so, so important. But good win there from Pieces. That's going to open up the right side of P2. Looking for that second player. Good shots again. Pieces with two in a row. Trying to dive on out, but Aaron Rice continues his streak. 11 and 7 for him. That's going to be Toons trying to break the point from the left side. Looking for that second player again. Pulls out the Renetti. Shuts him down. And Funky Bunch with a beautiful break. Yeah, 27 seconds. That I'm sure Funky Bunch, they are going to love to soak up all that time. Asus and top comms, hopefully to punish some of the rotations over towards the next set of rotations as we're hopping into the second set very shortly. It is going to be a small lead for 905 Esports, 101 to 98. It looks like they're going to get a little extra time, but with Funky Bunch over towards those P3 spawns, they're finding themselves in a little tough situation where they're going to have to fight for the top side of comms just to get an eye on this point. And they are going to get blessed with a couple spawns to maybe pinch this one out. So they have some presence over towards the maze. They just need the, the kills to come through. Slider going to run some routes here. Tandro, quick two-piece, hopefully able to open things up. A team kill off the back of 905. And Slider's trying to look for this last remaining player. It's Charisma just hopping onto the time. Yeah, that no one able to really block the spawns for 905, but it doesn't matter because they get control. Aaron Rice gets two back for him. And Funky Bunch... They just had no pressure towards the right side of the map, and they still don't. So they're all going to try to flood through P5. Not the ideal way to try and break P2 on rotation, but because, uh, uh, I mean, you see the power positions right now. Aaron Rice, and you just saw Watch Us season, top P2 window. Um, so easy to cut those players down trying to cross through P5, but now you see Tandro in a power spot himself. He needs to win this gunfight, and he doesn't, so it's actually going to be 905 retaining control of P2 right now as the battles continue on the right side of the map. Yeah, this is a tough sight for Funky Bunch. You were hoping to claw things back with that time off of P5. They're not able to get through P1, and they lose the battles for the spawns over towards P2. So now trying to force themselves through the front. Can you get a quick trade there from pieces between slides? Pieces now, 8 and 15. Can you find yourself a break up top in P2? Not able to land those shots. Aaron Rice, another big win on the point. He has been an absolute menace for this 905 Esports team. Yeah, he has shown up in a big way in this series. And again, you lose, you go home. 905 not wanting to go back to the 905 quite yet. Good start for them here in this sub base hard point, 165 and counting. Well over halfway to securing this game one victory, but still time for Funky Bunch on rotation to try to get a lot of time here, but that's a tough loss if your slider is watch uh, just trying to stay up in time for his teammates to catch up, but not going to be the case. So right now, Funky Bunch, they do have control of rotation. They get another big kill mid and an opportunity to get some time here. Yeah, and they have the setup. That's the big key. Can they hold off top snow, though? That's what really lost them the battles back in the first set of rotations. So you have Slider watching the push through comms, Brother Jammer in the back, but losing out on the fights here. The rest of the team, there's nobody on this time. So again, 905 just punishing from the front. And they're gonna get in to hopefully push this lead even further, 100 points up. Aaron Rice ready for the challenge from the side. Charisma watching the flank, but it's Aaron Rice again. Big wins coming out from 905 Esports. Pieces up top, the only player here from Funky Bunch to really do some damage. Can it be enough? Sliding out, two members to deal with, but watch this season. Lovely shots coming out from these MCWs. And 905 looking to put this in a winnable distance. Yep. 12 seconds left, this is a big scrap. Looks like they're just gonna bump on through, try to work out mid already. They know there's no pressure from Funky Bunch in mid. It's just gonna be Slider trying to hold this left side. He's gonna be able to get this kill on, on Rice that he does. So, again, 
Control for Funky Bunch. Weren't able to hold P3 the last time. Can they do it here on P4? This is a good, solid setup right now, but just take a peep at your mini map. Player number one, Charisma, working that deep flank all the way on the left side of the map while his teammates try to push down the river side. Yeah, and you got aces in the water. Nobody's going to be ready for this. Watch is going to open up with that first kill. Charisma striking from behind. Watch a second one, and there's the break. Aaron Rice going to jump into that hill right away. 30 seconds is enough time to win sub base here on P4. Watch it now, trying to punish some players off the respawn. Won't be able to win the fight versus Jammer. And now, Funky Bunch, this is death's door right now. They need to find the kills to back it up. Lovely shots there, not enough to take down Charisma, but it is enough to force another rotation over towards P5. Slider, again. Trying to get these players off the scrap or at least get some info. You don't want to see him playing this deep quite yet. As you see that player, that's going to be Asus, already snuck through P2. But Slider does wrap on back, take him out. So a little bit of map control right now for Funky Bunch, but no one on the time. They just need to get some kills, get organized before they hop on it. Yeah. But 12 seconds left to go for 905 to close out game one. Funky Bunch have to be pretty close to perfect. This is spawn trappable for Funky Bunch. You're forcing the P3 spawns from 905. You need these fights to go your way. They do not. Charisma finds two. Aaron Rice gonna get his team into the hill. Now 10 seconds left. Slider shut down. The spawns so far away. Funky Bunch, they are racing to get back to this hard point, but it's just not working out in their favor. 905 Esports with a commanding win on sub base. They wanted to go to the frigid area of this map, and it looks like that is exactly what leads them to success. Well, you see Funky Bunch not really phased too, too much. And I think that was just an example of 905 being just overall more polished. Um, obviously, you, you know, you throw a four kind of random players together. It's hard to, to look um, collective as a collective, if that makes sense. And 905 just a little bit more oiled and very convincing win. Uh, some good stuff out of Funky Bunch. We saw some, uh, you know, couple two pieces three pieces you know they they had some flashes but they could uh, shoot. yeah yeah you know they were shooting a little bit um and we saw that streak early on but yeah just just overpowered in this game and i feel like the one thing that funky bunch we didn't really get to see too much of is you know plenty of times they were finding the kills just nobody was hopping in the hill yeah so many times would there be 10 20 seconds or they're giving up for those rotations yeah. and you know you it's fine if you're going to focus on those rotations but if you're going to find the kills to hold those rotations it just wasn't working out too much for them when they're trying to you know play towards their game style and you know if they do make it into the next round and we do get to see another hard point from the funky bunch i'm hoping to see them clean up that hard point a little bit more but it is going to be kind of bring us into the search to destroy now and we've seen a lot of turnaround here from this 905 esports team they haven't had a great day just like funky bunch both of these teams are looking for a win here and 905 after that Big win off sub base now. They get that W under their belt. They're heading into what, if I recall, is a real search Rio, and destroy. Yeah. And you have Aaron Rice playing the way that he is with that MCW. I mean, you look towards a player like that to really open up for a lot of those first bloods. Give way to your SMGs to be those playmakers. 100%. And, and obviously... The general idea B is the more favored bomb site, but um, if you know any team, if you got if you can work a good A setup, you can make it work pretty much the entire game and not ever yeah. even touch B. Um, I think for 905 and and one player that we gotta give some credit to is Charisma. He had a very underrated map, underappreciated map, but his stat line was uh, almost double positive from from what I remember. So good map out of him. I expect him and Aaron Rice to really dictate the outcome of the search and destroy. If you're funky bunch, this is your opportunity to get back into the series. Search and destroy again. Skill gap doesn't matter near as much uh, in this game mode, and it being on Rio. Hey, if they just decide to run it down. They can certainly do that. Of course they can. I mean, you look at the Funky Bunch right there. One, two, three members in. That's Marky Mark himself. Goat Tunes. Yes. Nobody wants to talk about Cold War Goat Tunes here. And that's kind of what we need to see today. Goat Tunes find his old Humber form on the main stage and hopefully lead the team into the next set of maps here would be an invasion control if it does go to that map three but it looks like it's going to be players posturing for a b hit here bomb on 905 but aaron rice is going to get blooded that's bombed down in the middle of the map and that's fantastic for funky bunch now tantro looking for more but it's a big trade from charisma yes big trade indeed see slider playing for that info back and just trying to stay alive gets knocked down to 70. bomb is going to go down that's going to be aces putting that one on the b site you see that player number seven on the flank 
Slider again, just playing this info, waiting for his team to catch up. It's going to be Toons, two-time CCL champion with Humber College. Going to get caught out. Charisma, great read out of him as pieces with the striker in hand, oh, left buddy. alone in a 1v3. We got a striker. Oh, my God. Ooh. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I, I, wow, okay. okay. Yeah, right. I know why people don't want the striker to be yeah. used. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> I He just got deleted off the map. I, I That striker hits. Yeah, wow. Um, wow. You got to think if he wasn't one shot there, he probably gets that second kill with ease. And who I think knows so. what would have happened after. But Funky Bunch, not the ideal start you want. You got an offensive uh, round coming up now. And, well, we'll see what they can make happen. And... They, they could very well just decide to run it down, but it does, in fact, look like they're going to try to work in A. Yeah, a little more open space to allow these MCWs to have some impact on these initial kills. Stuns doesn't seem like they connect just yet, but Asus, what a shot there. Two kills to open up this search from Asus. That is going to completely halt the offense of Funky Bunch, and that's going to allow Aaron Rice to kind of work this flank here. Two players looking for the pinch. Funky Bunch, they are fish in a barrel right now. They're going to have to fight with their way out. What they don't know is Aaron Rice is in the back. That's bombed down. The second hit from Wacha is going to put it into a 1v4 pieces. Oh, my God. His striker, 9, is hardly missing. But it's just not enough to get them round wins. Oh, my God. You need to start sending pieces in first because, man, he is beaming with that striker. That headshot multiplier is going absolutely crazy. But Aaron Rice... This map, we see him with the sub for the first time, and he's shooting just as good as he was with the MCW. Yeah, running routes. And I, I think that's a big part here because Asus didn't have a fantastic map one on the uh, search and destroy, but the fact that he gets that first blood with the MCW brings Funky Bunch to a halt, and that's the issue with those A hits, is that once you lose that first player, you're a little hesitant to go for that bomb plant, yep. and it allows for that flank through B to kind of form, and you're really stuck in a bad situation. Oh, absolutely, yeah. If you get stuck on that A plat, you're, ju you're just basically trapped from all angles, and well, it's going to be a, a slower A hit for 905 right now. Nade's going out, and you see Toons just playing as deep as he can for any sort of info. Doesn't have a lot of help yet, but you see Tandro starting to work his way through boxing. Here, here it comes. Player jumps out on the, B, on the A site. Bomb is going to slide through. Get spotted out, but Aces, fantastic shots. Sorry, that was Rice with the good shots and pieces there to clean one up, but they are down 2v3. 40 seconds left to work with. He's got three retake here between Slider and Ow. Pieces gets a second one. So hold your horses. It's not done just yet. 2v2. And there's plenty of time to work this retake. 30 seconds left. A striker is just ripping through these players. How do you stay and now on towards the chase. Nice oh shots God. here from Pieces. Nothing to write home, though, about. Still players still alive, draining this time clock. And that's going to be the bane of Funky Bunch throughout this round. If they cannot get this defuse, it's going to be three up for 9.05. And it looks like they've done enough when it comes down to the time. No chance to defuse this, even if you find the kills. 9.05, yeah. take the round. Wow, that, that could have been Funky Bunch's round 25 seconds ago. It had, it had pieces gotten that first kill there on the A plat. Just one more bullet. Just one bullet. That's all he needed. But somehow he stays alive and 905 able to stay alive just long enough to, to secure the round win uh, despite the efforts of pieces and co. That's ridiculous. Yeah. I think I might have to go make myself a striker yeah, class for I, ranked play. We might have to go talk to pieces after this one and get that class because wow. That thing is beaming. That or we might have to GA it. Yeah. yeah we'll just, <laughs> the TXP GA. The TXP GA list. Yeah. Put the striker up on there because that is that is crazy. That yeah. It's killing so fast. But here we get to see another A hit. Charisma this time. Oh, the Nate spam catches him. He's going to die. Slider puts the finishing touch on. And that's going to give way to the A site for a quick plant. And you have two members watching the flank as well. I love this setup from the Funky Bunch. Yeah, this looks like a very textbook uh, break. You see two players actually watching the flank. One of them's going to get caught out. That's player number six. Uh, Tandro will get the kill. So now it's a 2v3. Ace is trying to work. The deep right gets some shots in, but Tandro with his second of the round leaves Watcha in a 1v3. Tandro with some beautiful shots there. Watcha in trouble. Players collapsing from every position and funky punch. Making way for a round. All right. Now things get interesting here on Rio. They get that first notch in the belt. They finally shut down this 905 Esports team. And it comes off of a really good call for that A hit. Last yeah. time they get blooded, this time they use the nays, the stuns, and they catch Charisma so early. I mean, Charisma was a little bit ahead of everything, a little out in the open. Yeah. But you have to just give it to Funky Bunch for that timed team, uh, team nade spam. 
A hundred percent. They they learned from their mistakes literally the round before, like you said. So uh, excellent, excellent execution for Funky Bunch. We'll see if they can follow that up with a very important defensive round win here in round number five. Oh, boy. wow. Wow. Good shots from Toons, but Charisma there for the trade. They now have control of Garage. Bomb's going to go down here shortly. 3v3, going to be a war coming in on the A site. Slatter goes down, so numbers for 905. Ooh. Tantro is going to get the trade. Bomb goes down at A, 2 feet 2, 38 seconds. Both members of Funky Bunch, they are separated. Charisma's now going to know that the information on the solo player into the back. Ace is looking to make some moves, expecting it, and right enough. Peace is going to get shut down. One versus two for Tandro on a three spree. Going to have to turn it into five if you want to put that second round on the board for your team here. Is he going to expect the one underneath him? He does not. And 905 with the immediate bounce back. Yeah, I mean, just good, efficient trading from 905 throughout this entire map. And even going back to map one, that's that's what really helped them secure the victory of map one. And they're doing the exact same thing here in S&D. I mean, you saw Toons get a very impressive kill uh, on the A bomb site, but instantly traded out by Charisma. They still retain control of Garage as well as the A bomb, got it down, and were just able to pick up a player on the pinch. From there, they could basically do whatever they want, play their life, play a corner. Uh, so very nicely done from 905, now just two rounds away from securing their spot in bracket play tomorrow. Only two more rounds. Trophy's out on A on B. Watch is gonna get a tick off of that nade, so presence is known here, but look at Aaron Rice. He wants to just jump out this door. Funky Bunch, they're gonna wow. be expecting it, but Pieces still gets caught. Aaron Rice doing major work for the team. He's going to be shut down, but now you have another member in the back. It's Asus. He's going to be known. Watch is going to push on forward. Funky Bunch again, just in a tough pickle here. How are they going to find their way out? They need to find Asus in the back, and even when oh. you do, Watch it has to get traded. Asus is still alive there. It's a one versus two for Tandro. Six and four. Going to have to make it eight kills. What was that? A caught looking the wrong way a little bit. Tandro realigns. Starting to work his way over towards A. He does have bomb in hand. 30 seconds left to work. Only one player to deal with if he does decide to take this route. But you got to think he's got to start moving now. Yeah. And now it does seem he's going to work towards B. Toward, kind of more the unfavored side when you're in a disadvantage like this. And you see player number one already rotating out. So here comes the expected push. Tandro, 1v2. Get some shots in. Not going to happen. 905. One round needed. And even with the MCW, just not able yeah. to land those shots. Five rounds up for 905 Esports. Funky Bunch going to have to make that full 180 now. And look at this. Talked about Asus not having the best map number one, but in the search and destroy. Yeah. Not missing with that AR. Eight and two. Fantastic showcase from 905 Esports right now. Leading the charge for their team. And only one more round away from pushing into that bracket play and sending Funky Bunch back in here. So how do we see them change here? Tantro looking to get aggressive. Stuns out, smokes down. Charisma's nade's going to find Slider, and that's going to be the first blood oh, of the round. Out. Tantro turns. The damage is there, but no kill, and he's just going to fly. I love this call. Will it pay off, though? Aces might get spotted out, but no. Tantro runs back down the escalators, so Aces gets away with his life. On the other side, it's Toons. Now Tandro again in a 1v4. Now 1v3. One minute left to work with. So, I mean, there is a possibility, but now Bomb being planted. So much work left for Tandro to do. 45 seconds to do it. His tournament on the line. Yeah. And everybody on 905 just looking for this last player. The cleanup for 905 Esports. And there you have it. A 2-0 on the main stage to close out our round robin play. 905 Esports going to send Funky Bunch packing. Well, at least two-thirds or two-fourths of them packing yeah. <laughs> as, you know, we need them for their admin work. Yeah, we, we, we kind of need them hanging around uh, for the rest of the weekend. But, yeah, Funky Bunch, a valiant effort, but... You know, at, at least it was a, a, they gave us some entertainment, uh, which was nice, and I'm sure they had a lot of fun. Uh, being able to play at, at, at an event like this, especially one that you're helping run, it's got to be a good feeling. So It's got to be fun, too. Yeah. You know, it's like you, you want to have that, that respect given to you.
yeah. rather than, you know, I'm the admin. You're like, I'm the admin and I can shoot, so you better exactly. watch out. Yeah. But no, not the case here for Funky Bunch, unfortunately, and they're going to be too owed by 905 Esports to make the complete bounce back regain um, from what was a pretty devastating loss earlier yeah. on for them for both of their round robin matches. But punching their ticket into the bracket play, you know, one step at a time. We were mm -hmm. kind of talking to the Funky Bunch, you know, even prior to this matchup, and they were saying it themselves that, you know, you win here, and then it's kind of just one game at a time yeah. throughout that bracket. So for 905, it's kind of spinning that storyline. Like, how far now can they push throughout the loser's bracket of uh, of TXP3? Because we saw some really good moments from this side of uh, from the side of 905 esports, especially you know, air on rice back on that uh, that sub base alongside Charisma. The ARs were frying, oh, yeah. and then you put the AR in Aces's hand over on Rio, and it looks like the team is just really comfortable when it comes down to using that MCW. And I just want to keep on seeing that team grow throughout this bracket it now see how far they can really push themselves 100 percent, and and this is the perfect match for them to kind of get their mojo back right um they knew coming in it was probably going to be a tight ish game um, but at the very least you come off of a tough loss like they did uh, on the stream just a, about an hour ago um you want some redemption before bracket play too and and even talking about st Clair before um they lose their first series of the day finish out pools two and oh like it sometimes it just takes teams a little bit to get into tournaments now they have the opportunity to go on a decent little run however skill gap goes like this when you get into bracket play right so we'll see what happens they're gonna play a very good team regardless but uh, they showed a lot of uh, some very good signs. Yeah, and they did show some good signs. And I know that bracket's getting cooked together right now by Mr. Brother Jammer himself. Mm -hmm. So we're going to throw it to a quick break while we get things set up on the bracket side of things. And when we come back, Zarin and I are going to be taking you through winners round one. You don't want to miss it, everybody. You're watching TXP here in St. Clair College. We'll see you on the other side of this break.